uh, so I, I, I demonstrated in a previous video uh, how I repaired um, uh, Sony RAW files, uh, ARW files, with a corrupt header. And then I also discussed, or I mentioned that uh, if you, uh, if as long as it's uh, the header that is corrupt, or very loosely, if it's as long as it's not, as it's not the uh, raw image data itself that is corrupt, then you can um, probably repair it, provided you have a reference file shot with the same camera and similar settings. And. Uh, I've also in the past uh, said that uh, if you can actually open a raw file but see uh, uh, distorted data, uh, that uh, that the chances for repair were very low. But that needs some um, explanation because it's not always true actually. Because um, if you find the I'm gonna open this one, this is corrupt. But you can open it. If you find that all the image, the entire image is corrupt, then there is a chance you can actually repair it. And this is different from what you also see is that, for example, uh, a quarter of the file is corrupt or the bottom part of the file is corrupt or the left part is corrupt and the right part is uh, not that indicates uh, corruption inside the actual raw data so that is very hard to fix i don't know if anyone can fix that uh, but if you have something like this where the entire image is corrupt you actually have a chance of uh, repairing that and i will uh, demonstrate that. So I'm going to close the corrupt file. I'm going to going to show you. I have a, an intact file here, which is uh, uh, from the same camera, uh, uh, shot very close uh, in time uh, to the corrupt file. So I'm going to use this as a reference file, and I'm going to try to repair the corrupt file. Um, So this was our corrupt file. This is our reference file. We opened it in uh, test mode. I want to tell it to uh, that we're dealing with a, so a Sony uh, RAW file. Um, we want to figure out this value because, as I, I, I've showed in the previous video, we will find multiple uh, of these uh, signatures, points of reference, uh, or magic bytes inside this raw file. And we need to skip the first one and we need to make sure we hit the second one. So then we have to start accepting uh, hits somewhere in between those two. And um, yeah, basically. Uh, I used to just uh, take the position of the first hit and take the position of the fir uh, second hit and then pick the number in between. But it can now do it automatically. If you type the question mark here, it will try to do this automatically. So that this we have now too. And we need to um, realign the image data by stuffing zeros. Uh, so that the reference header can decode the raw image data. So basically, the raw data has the have to ha has to have the position that it has in the reference file, and we're gonna accomplish this by stuffing it there with the zeros. This is the corrupt file. This is the reference file. Click this, so it will take this as a reference file. Now we can um, uh, select the corrupt file. Make sure you have applied the, the rule or the recipe, and then we can click repair. 
and we see it create the folder called fix where it stores the repaired file and now we're going to try and see if we can open it and now we can open it so this demonstrates that depending on what kind of uh, uh, visual corruption you get in your raw photo and also depending on the format and whatever but uh, this works for for example for uh, nick and raw files th this works uh, too so um, sometimes you can actually repair photos that are visually corrupted raw photos that are visually corrupted for a long time i believed it could not be done but uh, so it depends on the type of damage um like and subscribe if you if you have photos feel free to send me those and i will always um see if they can be repaired if i have to repair a whole bunch then i i won't do that for free but i, I it's not costing you 100 dollar per photo either because once i figured out how I can fix it if I can apply that to the corrupt the other corrupt photos then basically you don't have to pay me the full thing for the for every uh, corrupt photo of course and like I said I basically explained the method so you can do this using a hex editor too yeah? so you don't have to use uh, a, a special tool for it you can I used to do this with a hex editor all the time, the, the header uh, repair trick. So that was it for now. Bye bye.